Hello everyone and welcome back to Stuttgart City. Are you planning to visit this city in the coming months? Or maybe you are new and still looking for what to do or where to go? We bring you this time the top 25 attractions you must visit. This is a list of the most important tourist destinations in the city and a brief informative description of each of them. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, visit our blog travelstuttgart.com for more information and here we go. begin with our list from the city center. This is the Schloss Garden, right in front of the new palace, exactly in the heart of Stuttgart. The visit is mandatory. There is much to see inside the center, from the central station passing through one of the main pedestrian streets named the Konigstrasse, which means the street of the king, where you find all kinds of shops, among its main squares, gardens, galleries and museums. One of its main squares after the Palace Garden is the Schillerplatz, and next to it our first attraction on the list, and one of the most important historical architectural buildings of the city. This represents the beginning of everything. The old castle has now become the Wuttenberg Museum, imposing with medieval features on the outside and renaissance in the inside. It shows an anthropological exhibition of the Gutenberg region from its beginning, from the first human settlements to the last years of the kingdom, a priceless collection. The city palace, or Stadtpalais, was the residence of the last king of Gutenberg. Now it has become the city museum, with an exhibition you will find many historical documents, photographs and objects that have been part of the life of the city until nowadays. Stadt Gallery This is the largest visual art exhibition in the city. It is made up of two buildings, the old gallery and the new one. Among its rooms, you will find both classic and modern masterpieces, sculptures and paintings of the different current and schools of art from Europe and America, one of the favorite places of art lovers. Next to the art gallery is the House of History, a museum with an exhibition of historical pieces, documents and important figures of the region since the unification of the state of Baden with the state of Württemberg. art museum and architectural jewel of glass that adorn the center of the city. This is the place to learn about new trends in visual art and design. Then within the oldest alley of the center is the Markhalle, a market with a great historical relevance in Stuttgart, a meeting point for the lovers of gastronomy, with a variety of shops with international specialties. After getting to know several points in the city center, one recommendation is to take a historical walking tour. It is a short walk, about one hour and a half, which you will get to know this destination and many others. Very interesting squares and historical events. Now we continue with other facets and attractions of the city located in its surroundings, historical and also modern buildings, from museums, palaces, parks and events. And we start with one of the most important below. The Mercedes-Benz Museum. Being the city the clarest of the prestigious automobile brand, we have adopted this museum as one of the main tourist destinations of interest at a national and international level. To begin with, its asymmetrical dynamic design is a sample of elegance and innovation. And within its spacious rooms, you can appreciate a unique exhibition, totally recommended for all kinds of people. And it's not only a presentation of the different car models. Let us remember that Mercedes-Benz brand was the pioneer in developing the first gasoline engine. And within the museum, you will enter a journey of in history where you will know how the brand has been a fundamental part of the development of humanity. 
you visit the city of Stuttgart, this place is one that you cannot miss. Continuing along the same line, there is also the museum of the Porsche brand, another proud brand of the city, and an impressive exhibition. It is more focused for lovers of super auto, technology and speed. Another very dynamic architectural building and innovative, characteristic of the Porsche brand. If you are a fan of cars, you will not be disappointed when you visit this place. The Stuttgart Television Tower is one of the masterpieces of architecture worldwide. Built in the mid of 1950s, this tower is the first television tower with this style, a design that was innovative for its time. In it, you will be able to appreciate the best panoramic view of the city and the seven mountains of the southern Germany. You will also be able to know how this tower was the basis for the design of other towers in many more cities of the world. Grabkapelle, the memorial chapel, built to commemorate the life, death and love between King Wilhelm and Queen Katerina. It's a chapel of orthodox design located on the top of a hill where it used to be the ruins of an old castle of the Wittenberg dynasty. A magical place with a very nice photograph and panoramic view of the city and vineyard. A very good option for a walk or a bike tour to learn about the wine culture of the region. We also have another modern architectural jewel in the city, the City Library or Stadtbibliothek. With a cubic monolithic design and illuminated at night, this has been declared the Library of the Year in Germany on several occasions. With its eight levels divided in two sections, it is a very photogenic place to visit. The Ludwigsburg Palace in the city of Ludwigsburg is also undoubtedly one of the most popular attractions. It was also the residence of the Dukes of Gutenberg. With large and amazing garden, its design inspired by the Palace of Versailles, within three museums and a lot of social events all year round. Following the same line, we also have the Solitude Palace, a small but beautiful building that was a country palace of the kings of Wittenberg, now open to the public. We continue with the Rosenstein Palace, another small palace built by one of the kings of Wittenberg as a country house. Together with the Loven Tor, it formed the Natur Museum or Natur Kunden Museum, located in the middle of the beautiful Rosenstein Park. Within the exhibition, its visitor will be able to learn about the different animal species since prehistoric times, with a collection of fossils and species found in this region. Among its outstanding museum, we also include the Linde Museum of Stuttgart, a very impressive multicultural exhibition with historical pieces from different regions and cultures from the five continents of the world, like jewelry, paintings, documents, sculptures, archaeological pieces, and traditional clothing. 
A very peculiar and exotic museum is the Pig Museum, located in an old lauter house and butchery. Now the museum offers one of the most curious and even bizarre collections in the city. Artistic expression, craft, paintings, old advertised designs, and many more curiosities difficult to describe, all inspired by the pig. This is the Rosenstein Park, next to the city center, an extensive green area that although we do not include in the list, it is undoubtedly one of the attractions we have. The city of Stuttgart is one of the greenest cities in all Germany. You will be able to find many gardens and palaces, but also many urban parks and forests between districts. That is why we change the type of destination below and we go on to show some of the most popular and emblematic parks in the city. The Wilhelma Zoo and Botanical Park is one of the most popular parks for families. In this place, you will find a great variety of animals and plant species from all corners of the world. The park was built by King Wilhelm I. In the center, a palace with a Mediterranean design inspired by the architecture of the south coast of Spain. Its gardens are well cared with an amazing environment design. Killesburg Park, another of the most amazing parks and gardens that the city offers. Among artificial lagoons, fountains, farm animals, cafeterias, botanical exhibitions, and social events. Long walking paths, game for children, a traveling circus, a mechanical train, some sculpture, even a swimming pool area. One of its main attractions is also the tower, from where you can see a very good view of this part of the city. Next to the Neckar River, you can find the largest lagoon in the urban area of Stuttgart, the Max AC. This is an artificial lagoon fed by the water of the Neckar River, a fairly large protected green area. Very pleasant to spend an afternoon with friends and family. It's the home of the city sailing club and fishermen. Weissenburg Park, also known as the Tea House. This is a park located in the remains of an old villa which was also built on a ruin of an old medieval castle. Today it works as a viewpoint of the city and a cafeteria where you can appreciate one of the best panoramic views of the city center. One of the greatest spots to enjoy the sunset in the city. In front of the Weissenburg Park and the Tea House, on the other side of the valley, in the southern area, is the Karlsruhe Park, another very popular place to enjoy an afternoon. In this side, you can see the best sunrises in the city. A small but beautiful place is the Chinese Garden, a space of tranquility and meditation that was the winner of a garden festival several years ago for its beauty earn a permanent spot in the city. Stuttgart is also a city of many festivals, so finally one of the very popular attractions that we include in the list is the largest festival in the city, and the second largest beer festival in the world after the Oktoberfest in München, the Bad Kanzater Folkfest Basen. The last week of September and the first week of October, this festival received more than 2 million visitors. With music, mechanical games, and traditional gastronomy, this festival is an experience that should be enjoyed at least once in a life. As you have already seen, there is a great variety of places and things that you can do if you visit Stuttgart City. If you're interested in a specific place, I invite you to visit our website travelstuttgart.com. There we have each of these destinations 
and many more with much more info and detail. I invite you to subscribe to this channel to know more about Germany, the state of Baden-Württemberg and the city of Stuttgart. We will bring you more information and videos in the coming days. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.